What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jet here some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we got through some library shenanigans, saw Riku meet up with the man in the robe back from Destiny Islands, and we started climbing Hollow Bastion. In this episode, let's go ahead and continue climbing Hollow Bastion while we enter the lift shop. So let's see, um, yeah there's nothing really to do here, so let's go on here, yelling up. I think we're going to be attacked by some Heartless. No. The room's way too small anyway, so. And let's see. Back here is actually a sneaky little chest. I remember to you. Thought you could get away from it, did you? Or a calcum. Nice. You can see the pathway's been destroyed right there. By this stupid thing. Heading over here, we have another one of these things. Examine. And let's make our way up. Whee! So, that doorway up there is actually where we're heading. We, we're actually pretty close to the top of Hollow Bastion. We also have these guys to deal with, so... This should be kind of fun. Take them out. I'm just gonna call them Dragon Heartless. I don't know their official name. These guys, I know the official name. They're Shadow Balls. Yes, that's the actual name. Shadow Balls. And also, when they're doing um, the electric attack, you can get plenty of counters off. You can't break through the defense, but that... Oh, well. I like how these guys, whenever they attack, they just like go zooming right on by, so it makes for some funny, um, visual stuff. Come on, Defender. Hershu! You. you know, Arthur Canum. It Arthur Canum, uh, basically just says, screw you, defense, and just breaks through it. They also leave a lot of money. Die, Shadows. So, um, we're getting to the world where I actually know some of the official names. Which is nice because I was sitting there like, oh, what is this one called? So, this one. There we go. So, let's see. Oh, not items. Jesus. There we go. And now we're going to lower this. This, I don't think, has anything important in it. Yeah, Thunda Th Thundaga ring, so it's not too big. You actually want to lower this. That's going to be important later. So, let's go ahead and. We want to go back down. No. Let's head back into the lift shop real quick. Looks like I know what I'm doing. This area right here will actually have some massive slowdown. The reason why I mentioned that is because I don't want people to think, oh, my video sucked, or his frames are all confusing. Yeah. Nah, it's just. That, like, early PS2 games, and I noticed, as well as, like, well, a lot of console games will tend to have slowdown. You know, no, I'm not gonna use Arsa Canem. I don't need to waste my MP like that. Go, Sora! There we go, dead. We'll have more Hurtless appear. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Do anything fun? No? Well, do something fun. Do something with your life. That was weird. Attack these guys, get massive amounts of counters, though I'm not really doing anything for the HP. There we go. Finally did something for the HP. I know that, yeah, there's one other guy left. You can't smash get me. Jerk. So let's continue going forth to the high tower. Now here you'll actually have a bunch of Heartless to fight uh, before actually continuing on. Die, Shadow Balls. Ooh, high potion. Hey, Defender, how you doing? Ow. Arsar Kingdom, go. I will be spamming this because I can. If it, there we go, I actually got uh, to get some Bash off. If you do it right, I know if I uh, explain this, but if you do it right, you can get Bash off with Arsar Kingdom. And how it works... Is uh, I think it's if the enemy is in the air, like as, yeah, as you see, like the shadows. Whenever you see them, like go in the air, um, it's like air enemies, or if they're a little bit higher uh, up than you, not HP wise. I'm talking about like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the stature. If they're like uh, higher than you, you can attack them. Um, it's kind of weird, but it can be useful. So you want to activate this real quick to lower. Then you want to come through and do that. Lower this chest. I don't think there's another chest around here. No, that looks like it. Hey, there's there's some more Dalmatians. Okay, now that should leave six. Or that should leave three, I believe. Yeah, only three left. And the th um, three that are left, you cannot get right now. I'll, I'll explain it later, I promise. I'll, everything will make sense, I promise. I'm just gonna have to leave you guys in the dark for now. 
I, I, there we go. I don't like fighting these guys, especially in this area, because it gets so close to you falling off. It's like, uh, come here, dragon. These guys I don't know the official name, so that's why I'm calling the dragon heartless. And they're too high up, so I can't use Ars Arcanum. All right. Now what you want to do is activate this. Now raise this platform up. That doorway down there, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's not too important. So jump up here, we'll have more Heartless to fight. Hey guys, how you doing? I love how I go not uh, to meet the Heartless, I'm just like, hey, how you doing? Like, there's some friends that I just met up with, like, hey guys, how you doing? No, I'm pretty good. I'm oh, so weird. But being weird is good, because if you're normal, then that sucks, because normality is boring. It really is, though, the thing about it. I mean, if all humans were the same and normal, as people put it, then life would be kind of boring. If this thing could peer over here, that'd be nice. Oh, Jesus, where are you at? It's right below me, isn't it? No, that's a chest. Uh, hello? Magic man. Magic man. Oh yeah, he was like right below the platform. Where is he? He's like way up there. Come down here. Where'd you go? There you are. That's what this thing here is for, uh, in case like you need to get back up. There it goes. So now we need to go over here, jump up, jump up, glide a little bit, roll over, <laughs> roll over, so is a dog. That thing disappeared so we can't use it again. It reappears if you uh, have to use it, use the one down there. It, it makes sense if you don't listen to me. Mega Elixir, nice. Go ahead and go in here. And now they actually changed the path from the one live shop thing, what was in the library. Am I actually going to come in here and alter this real quick? Uh, take out... I'm going to take out Elixir. Keep that high potion. Exchange this for... No, I don't, I don't want to go to Beast. Beast has enough stuff. Um, do that. Mega Elixir. Alright, that should be fine. This is, uh, next fight, which is actually inside the next room right here. It's actually a doozy. I'm just going to skip over these. Oh, we're not there yet. Whoops. It's kind of obvious that there's going to be a fight, though. I mean, this is building up towards the end of the game. So, yeah. Ow. If you had guessed those, this is almost towards the end of the game, because we've pretty much gone through the whole entire world map. I want Counter, 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 counter. I realize that's annoying, but... Alright, so let's go ahead, and I believe... Here it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and go inside. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes, the keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it, and the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah! Impossible! The Princesses of Heart are all here! It must be her! Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The King's Fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses.
I'm afraid you're too late. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unsealed. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! And now we take on Maleficent, the queen of all evil, as she uh, said herself. Our Sarkano is fantastic in this fight because it will just dwindle her HP. She will... Oh, this attack right here, Meteor, is actually pretty devastating! Heal! Okay, good. Oh, Jesus, get out of the way. She will actually summon uh, Heartless to come and uh, attack you, and you might want to get take care of them. Nope, jump up here. Oh. She'll do that too, where she'll teleport. If you uh, stand on her little circle rock, a circle circle, uh, it will occasionally try to throw you off. There we go. Whoop. Nope. Turn. Sore. Sore. There we go. Stop laughing. Nope. Oh, come on. Now I actually have to take out the platform. Uh, the platform will occasionally, I believe, shoot electricity at you. So once you take out the health, there it goes. Oh, come on. Lift it. Freaking. Oh, hey. There's something over here. What's this? Ooh. Lucid. Or lucid. Crystal. I want to kill real quick. No, don't. Let's take it back here. This fight can be a nuisance because Maleficent is just that big of a jerk. Yeah, she, she'll cast down lightning to come and attack you. No thunder, lightning. Take her out, take her out, take her out. I'm gonna use our Arcanum. Oh, I want to get out of the way real quick. Oh, Jesus. Where is, uh, Lexer? Just wait. Error. God, there's a massive slowdown here. Attack her. Alright, she's disappeared. Let's take out these defenders. They're definitely going to get in the way, so... There, he's dead. Where's the money? I need the money. I don't know, do you have trouble with him? He's not that hard. Man. Just because he's a giant shield in front of him does not mean he's that difficult. This is the guy who can't get past his defense. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Where are you at, Maleficent? Take out your little stupid flying rock of blindness and rocks. There we go. Ars Arcano. And a few more hits and she should be done. And down goes Maleficent. Yay! Now you might have been thinking, that fight was super easy. What do you mean it could have been bad? Well, I actually had some decent luck with that one. But this next fight... I want to save real quick, because we're actually pretty high up, and I don't want to lose all this progress. So let's see, you come back up here, right... Here should be suffice. Should be suffice? Yeah. <laughs> That work. This next fight. <sighs> you know, I'm actually going to end it off right here. Because this next fight could either be super quick or I could have a lot of trouble. So, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, we're going to go through the uh, Vortex of Darkness, go out to Maleficent, and. Well, we got to see what's up with Riku. He sounds a little bit different. Seems a little different too. As well as try um uh, free Kyrie from whatever's happening with her. I'll see you all next time.